Greetings, and welcome back to Why Do You Assholes Hate Me So Much? I give you everything. You're like the most inf- Humans. Bastards. So I decided to uh, replace one of the cultural exchange centers on that planet with an EXTREME STADIUM for EXTREME SPORTS like Grimball. <laughs> Grimball, I said it. You can't take it back. Damn it. Think, children, uh, my, my fellow viewers, uh, of how Grimball is played. The sport of Grimball. And you may be justly rewarded with being mentioned and stuff. Anyway, yes, I uh, lowered the nebula and star density in the background. Although that there's still some lags, so I'm going to zoom out again. I just wanted to give you a nice, you know, cool look at stuff that's going on. See? Yeah, I'm playing a relatively recent game here, folks. Come on. Radioactive world. Not a problem. So, let's zoom out. Whee! Do a little lag, but, you know, zooming out. That's the way it goes. There we go. Wonder if that's gonna screw up the recording. We shall see. So let's uh actually zoom back down a bit. <laughs> Clearly, the uh, the core have been kind enough to infiltrate a Torian world down here, and basically say this land is our land. Oh, and that's where the Scott Lingas are. Good to know. Good to know. We're just going to send out, you know, little exploratory feelers into this rest of dead space area because we can. Take a look at what's going on here. Nada. Let's uh, hook up this... Uh, Warcraft can't move anymore. Neither can this Brixian shuttle. Do we have any more things? Yeah, obviously. Uh, we'll tell them to wait there, and we will go on with the next turn. Let me check my finances first. Ugh, ugly children ugly children. <laughs> Not that you're ugly. I mean, to say, I don't know how you look. You want to send me your pictures? <laughs> Probably not. My viewership base primarily consists of <laughs> people in their 50s and 60s who enjoy uh, Bingo and Negaform. So, uh, perhaps not. Hmm. Improve my morale so I can raise taxes. That's what that extreme stadium will be doing as well. Harmony Crystal, sweet! Now morale will be even higher. And, uh... Stuff. Yes. And stuff. That's always a uh, scientific, technical term whenever you say, and stuff. Where was that ship? Westerfield 1? I don't even remember where that is on the map. I there. Congratulations, Grimith, you found Westerfield 1. You are awarded no points, and may God have mercy upon your soul. Woohoo! Uh, unclaimed resource? Is that an unclaimed resource? Can I claim that? Is there, like, a stipulation saying I can't? Nope. Okay, moving on. Holy crap, look at me. By the way, folks, I have, uh, Upon rewatching uh, the last series of videos that I released, which ended up being uh, three videos as opposed to the two I originally said I would release because I'm awesome, I am uh, making a conscious effort to limit my usage of the word um or uh. Instead, I will uh, fill <laughs> my speech with as much dead silence as possible or as necessary. Although eventually I will lose control of myself and I'll end up saying it. I'm sure I've already said it, but right now I'm going to try to not say it more than uh, five more times. There we go. We'll go with that. There you go. That's how it works. Anyway, pew pew. Let's see if our warp crabs actually lose any health. And they do not. That's the power of a first strike combined with warp crab. Which, as we all know, is a very, very silly design. 
made by silly people for silly people. What's our military rating at again? Yes, yeah, screw you, A-Team. I'm definitely staying with that nickname, mainly because nobody's objected to it. Well, some may still may object to it. They uh, may post on my uh, videos and say, Hey, this is a shitty idea. What the fuck are you doing? Be like, I don't know. I'm stupid. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I was like, this is my planet? What? <laughs> Woohoo, loopy. Alright. What? That's unclaimed. What? What? Alright. Go ninja that. <laughs> Go ninja. 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 Rap. Some of you may be disappointed in the uh, the poor quality now that has, has uh, come about in my recordings. To you I say, go watch my Liberal Crime Squad recordings thing, because those are so much higher quality. Unless you disagree, in that case, shut up and get on with it. What's my morale at now? Oh, sweet, 90%, and I haven't even built that extreme stadium of extremeness. I think it's time to raise taxes some more. <laughs> Woohoo! Read my lips. More new taxes. Alright. Eventually, I will free uh, New Iconia from the tyranny of uh, sabotage. No, I won't. Who am I kidding? Not for a long time. Many weeks into the future. News of the... Ugh. Looks like the core beat me to this one, children. Damn! Well, I will, uh, I will accept this. I will accept this judgment and this ruling. You think you have won? You think you have beaten us? We shall deny you your final victory. We have decided to surrender to the Dominion of Core, who declared war upon us and took our worlds. It will protect us from your wrath. Yes, that's a way to defeat me there. Those Torians are asshats to the very end, viewers. Remember that. Still, I think I had a very significant achievement in that, you know. That was a dick. But really, the Torians always deserve to be crushed. And uh, through combined effort, I do believe we achieved that goal. Now it's time to move on to crushing other people. I'm no longer at war with anybody, so I'm going to see if I can profit and gain and whatnot. Mm. Won't be able to gain influence in that sector now. I will have to redirect. I could take the art, the A team home world. I could declare war on the A team. Mm, wait, 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 wait. Let's reflect, children. Let's reflect. Treaties. Treaties, 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 treaties. The research and economic boon I get from them will uh, cease to exist. I need to reevaluate my, uh, my standards. Term of war is really the best idea. How much am I paying in ship maintenance? So really, I should be pew pewing constantly. Or else I'll have to mothball these ships. Well, at least I got that shuttle built. You're probably building another one. Stop that. Just stop. Just just go back to normalcy and happiness and fun and joy and kittens and damn. Why not? Let's move on the uh, A team. At least move our ships close to the A team. What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> Death and destruction? Not of the Cybrixian Empire. I'm uh, too mighty right now. Worst case, I mean, I devolve. I basically have to renege on so many of my expenses. I would have to cut down my production capacity. I mean, if I cut down to not spending a damn dime, 
I make that much money. So I would, worst case, I would lower my spending in order to save money. But my empire would still survive, and I do believe I can handle any of these singularly. Even the Dominion of Kor, even with their ill-gotten gain. Mainly because, look at my military rating. The Dominion of Kor's military dipped there in that little fight with Toria. And if it were not for my interference, I do believe it would have dipped more. I do believe it also dipped courtesy of the fact that the A-Team is shooting at them. Mmm, coincidence? I say, Nietzsche. I can always consume the Dringan Empire, but you know, I... I, I would feel bad doing that, honestly, I would. I really like keeping them around. <sighs> I mean... They're, like, right here. It's so convenient. They... There's an unoccupied resource right there that I haven't claimed for whatever reason that I'm about to claim now with this very far away constructor because I'm awesome like that. I'm like the Miz. Anybody who got that reference, congratulations. No, I don't really watch it, but I do keep up with it. Hmm, okay. Let's click next turn. Screw the, the details. Let's see what happens in the future. Worst case, I go to war with everybody. And uh, it is looking like I will uh, end up eking out uh, influence victory. Much to my uh, eternal disgruntment. Much to my eternal... Dis oh, 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 nose. Nose! Freighters! You must go! You must go to core. Do not camp at the planet. It's unoccupied. I like a you know, one consequence I didn't really foresee is uh what if the A team ends up taking core? That would uh It looks like that resource is claimed again. Eh, well well. I mean if they end up taking core, I'm about to lose my trade partner. I may have to declare war on the A-Team. Who am I kidding? I, I'm going to declare war on the A-Team anyway. It's just a matter of moving my war crafts. <laughs> Woohoo! Our freighter from Cybrixia has arrived on distant core. It's established a new trade route with their civilization that private industry will maintain during times of peace. They'll also maintain it during times of war. Because freighters are uber leet, thanks to the United Planets Council. Is that not awesome, Sauce Children? Alas. Advanced logistics! Excellent. Moving on, we shall. Make bigger ships? No. We shall. Give our ships more hit points. Yes. So we can conquer. And uh, dominate. And petrify and all those shiny spithy things. Hmm. Let's go here. Fine. Didn't... Okay. Don't have anybody else. Righto. How much money am I making per turn? I can deal with that. Morale on Earth still sucks. <laughs> oh well, you people will never be happy with me. <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> Call that side breaks and shuttle to camp. You know, maybe the, the, the uh, A-Team will be so nice to declare war on me based upon me moving those ships there. Maybe they'll do it for me. That would be nice. That's not what I meant to do at all. Holy crap, how fast do you build those? Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> Probably because of those manufacturing bonuses. Grimoth approves. Grimoth definitely approves. Grimoth most certainly approves. And wishes you fame and fortune. Stop whistling. Thank you. We were going to click next turn again. 
Are we achieving uh, financial supremacy? No doubt. We will mark my words and mark them. Oh, great. Wormhole! Spirit fingers! Jazz hands! Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. 24 logistics points? That's four warp crabs together. Four. Oh, no. Look at the time! I'm continuing to record! Oh, my God! This is madness in Cake Town at the same time. You gotta be kidding me. Really? Who among you dares to plot against me? I. You guys are stupid. <laughs> so you. Aww. Oh, dick move. Dick move. I am disappointed. Who are we looking at here? I don't think it's them. I, I don't think it's the Dragon Empire of the Dominion of Core. I believe it's the A-Team or the Draft. Well, we have our freighters up and going. I think it's time for us to declare war on the A-Team and truly assert our dominance over the galaxy. Alternatively, we die trying. I don't think we'll die trying. I think with everybody at war with the AT, we will be in good hands. So let's go ahead and give a shout out here to Lord Vega. What's so, up? I'll give him an official declaration as opposed to just right clicking on somebody's ships. It's funny how I've ended up being the aggressor in these situations, right? I mean, uh. Eventually, you know, originally it was the ladies of the galaxy declaring war upon me and then groveling at my feet and begging to get in my pants. Little do they know what I'm actually wearing under this robe. Your time has come, Lord Vega. Prepare for war. Woohoo! Yes, we have constructors moving to their territory still. I do not foresee this to be a problem. I could end up being desperately wrong. Desperately, yes. So let's uh, go ahead and move out of here. Crazy crab. Oh, excuse me. Warp crab. Ho! Oh. It'll be funsies. Move the Cybrixian shuttle behind to support. Go ahead and... I could have waited for the rest of these warp crabs to warp ahead. But, you know. I honestly do believe three warp crabs can uh, handle them. At least until reinforcements arrive. Reinforcements have arrived! Which will be very soon. So all the, all the damn uh, agents in the world, not going to change that. We'll actually see which agents disappear whenever I eliminate the A-Team, if any. I do believe they disappear if the faction controlling them is eliminated. That makes sense, right? Makes so much sense, it makes dollars, right? I, I, I fail to see, you know, any, uh, conflicting logic. Oh shit, we have serious music now, children. Serious wartime business music, who knows? Hmm, I choose you. That's what I need. More babies! 400 babies! You. Do that. I, I'm not even keeping track of which ones are fully improved and which ones aren't. I'd probably be doing that in a more difficult game, however, it appears I've mopped this up quite nicely. They're after my Sabrixian shuttle, as uh, AI ships are wont to do. I'm facing 10 attack. With mass drivers and zero armor all around. To face that, <laughs> each of my warp crabs has 11 armor on it. 11 total, with, you know, all my bonuses factored in. Pretty much, uh, what, 16 attack? Yeah. 108 total health, 48 out of 72. Okay. On the good ship. Now, they have the same advantage, the A-Team, as I do. 
we all get first strike. So when two factions that have first strike get together... Actually, I still think it factors in that if you attack first... So I think I still get it anyway, and he'll get it too? I don't know. I'm not sure. And that just goes to show how much I care. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move these final two spaces. What's your movement range? Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, screw it. I'll I'll move right next door. Go ahead. Send it all at me. Don't care. I am prepared to face you in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! We have gone way too far in our recording. Way too far, way too long. We're pushing the boundaries. We're pushing it to the limit. You died. That is uh, most unfortunate for you. I have an agent available. <laughs> Alright, folks. Damn, that's a lot of news. Next time on Let's Get On With It, uh, Galactic Civilizations 2 Twilight of the Arnor, we uh, perhaps conquer the A-Team and demote them to be status. Or status. I just like saying status. It sounded eloquent enough for one such as me. Anyway, check health. Three health points lost. To Lou! Fuck you, train!